This is Barbados. Hello and welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're taking a look at Barbados and its rich culture and heritage. Did you know Barbados was initially called Los Barbados by the Portuguese explorer Pedro Campos, inspired by the island's bearded fig trees? Interestingly, this term evolved into the island's current name, Barbados. Additionally, the transition to an enslaved population propelled the island into becoming one of Britain's first truly slave-based societies, shaping its tragic history. But did you know that global superstar Rihanna hails from this island, making waves both in music and as a cultural ambassador? Join us and stay to the end to find out more about this small yet fascinating island nation. Barbados is an island nation located in the Lesser Antilles of the Caribbean region. Its total land area spans just 166 square miles, making it one of the world's smallest countries. Barbados lies about 100 miles east of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Its capital and largest city is Bridgetown, which is located on the southwest coast of the island. Other major Barbadian cities include Speitstown and Oystins, located along the west coast. Barbados features gently sloping terrain covered by fields of sugarcane, except for its highly eroded limestone center, which rises to the island's highest point, Mount Hillaby, at 1,102 feet above sea level. The overall landscape and exposed coastal areas reflect the prevailing northeast trade winds, as well as underground streams. Barbados also boasts narrow stretches of tropical rainforest, plus mangrove swamps on the coastal perimeter. Significant natural harbors allow shipping vessels to approach the shore. Encircling Barbados below sea level is a mixture of coral reef formations, as well as isolated patches of deep ocean floor. Much of the sea surrounding Barbados contains abundant marine life and biodiversity, which has provided islanders nourishment and economic activity throughout history. Unfortunately, some of the coral reefs have suffered degradation recently, but various conservation efforts are now underway to better protect these precious natural resources. The favorable climate, geography and natural harbors were critical throughout the island's complex history. From indigenous settlements through forceful British imperial control to becoming the independent nation of Barbados that continues thriving today. The landscape may be small, but Barbados plays an outsized role across the Caribbean and beyond. The original indigenous settlers on the island were groups described as hunter-gatherers and fishers. Not much is known about these earliest inhabitants, unfortunately. Later, two groups called the Saladoid Barancoid and Arawak people arrived around 350 AD. The first European to visit Barbados was Portuguese explorer Pedro Campos in 1536 AD. He called the island Os Barbados, meaning bearded ones, likely due to the long hanging aerial roots of the fig trees present. With no gold or silver immediately evident, however, the Portuguese did not stay. Then in 1620, an English ship traveling to Brazil was carried by currents to the island. Finding it deserted, they claimed Barbagos and declared it a British territory. By 1627, the first British settlers landed and began establishing plantations for cash crops. Early British plantation owners first relied on European indentured servants for labor. However, high mortality rates due to disease, abuse and neglect led elite plantation owners to gradually replace white servants with enslaved Africans believed to have higher immunity. This transition marked Barbados tragically becoming one of Britain's first truly slave-based societies. The shift to an enslaved population enabled large-scale sugar plantations to expand rapidly across Barbados over the 1600s with devastating humanitarian costs. This growth into the jewel of the British Empire 
relied entirely on the brutal transatlantic slave trade and the violent oppression of Africans through force and legislation for profits. Slavery would continue for over two centuries more until full emancipation in 1834. From the mid-17th century onward, struggles for power between planters and British colonial administrators, coupled with slave rebellions, contributed to considerable tensions, violence and upheaval at times. However, Barbados remained under strict British control despite various conflicts. This lasted over 300 years until Barbados finally achieved independence in 1966, transitioning to the current parliamentary democracy. The complex legacy of colonial exploitation and slavery, coupled with determined African resistance, underpin much of Barbados' history. Today, the nation continues reflecting on its multifaceted past while looking ahead to a more prosperous future for all Barbadians. Barbados is home to an estimated 300,000 citizens. Nearly 85% of Barbadians are of African descent, descended from the West Africans brought to Barbados during the colonial period under British transatlantic slave trade. A sizable minority of about 4% have South Asian roots in India and elsewhere, while others are descended from Europeans, mainly British, Irish or Portuguese. In terms of religion, around 95% of Barbados citizens identify as Christian. Of these, the Anglican denomination is the most common, followed by Methodism, Pentecostal and various culturally blended Afrocentric Christian spiritist faiths. The remaining religious people are mostly Hindu or Muslim, associated with the Barbadian minority of South Asian roots. Language in Barbados features an internationally recognized dialect known as Bajan Creole that blends English and West African grammatical influences as well as some loanwords from indigenous American and Scottish lexicons. The vast majority of Barbadians speak this compelling dialect as their native first language, while fluent English is taught in schools and used for business. Barbadian cuisine is a colorful blend of various influences from its rich history. Traditional Barbadian cooking draws from West African, British and Caribbean flavors brought by the many groups that have inhabited the island nation over centuries. A few hallmark staples serve as the base for many iconic Barbados dishes. These include ingredients like seafood, cassava, sweet potatoes, okra, other local produce, and hot peppers. Popular Bajan seasonings feature spices like garlic, cinnamon, cloves, and black pepper. Common dishes that can be found across Barbados include cuckoo and flying fish, considered the national dish. This meal consists of steamed, then fried flying fish, served atop fluffy cornmeal or cassava root cuckoo, alongside spicy gravy for dipping. Another beloved staple is pudding and souse, made of pickled pork and sweet potato stew. Traditional Sunday lunch in Barbados may feature macaroni pie, cooked with eggs and cheese, then baked. Other main bajan plates include jerk chicken marinated in a spicy seasoning blend and slow roasted, plus simmered stewed chicken or beef, accompanied often by garden salad and or rice and peas. Contemporary Barbadian festivals showcase strong African roots woven into cultural celebrations on the island. Major events include Crop Over, a vibrant carnival festival with parades, music competitions, folk traditions, plus delicious street food. Barbados also hosts one of the world's biggest reggae festivals, drawing musicians and fans from across the Caribbean and beyond. Crop Over began centuries ago as a lively harvest festival celebrating the end of the sugarcane season. Today, the vibrant event has transformed over generations into Barbados's biggest national festival, spanning over a month of festivities between July and August. Modern Crop 
Over kicks off with the ceremonial delivery of the last sugarcane harvest. A colorful parade fills the streets with costumes, dancing and calypso music as a symbolic way to declare the sugarcane fields closed until next season. This launches over four weeks of ongoing celebrations. A staple event is the intense Calypso competition preliminary rounds happening over weekends. Here musicians showcase clever lyrics and skillful rhythms before judges narrow the selection for finals. The Pico de Crop competition has a similar structure for determining the best vocalist performing authentic folk tunes. These national music competitions highlight many distinct African and Caribbean musical art forms that influenced Bajan culture over centuries, keeping them alive today. Steel pan musicians, folk drumming bands, and rhythmic dance groups further enliven Cropover with vibrant sights and sounds daily. In the final few days, celebrations culminate in Grand Cadument, the massive costume parade with colorful, elaborate costumes on display as they wind through the streets in high energy. Huge crowds gather to watch as locals and visitors alike join what feels like one enormous street party across Barbados. Barbados Independence Day in November honors the anniversary of political independence with ceremonies, concerts, and community events. Smaller village festivals feature dance, drumming, storytelling, and cuisine keeping African-based traditions alive. If you enjoyed this video on Barbados, you'll love this next one.